वॉट अबाउट की आई शुड टेल यू टीच यू गाइज अबाउट पाइथिन हाउ आई हैव लर्न पाइथिन यू नो समाइम्स वी मेक ट्रिक्स टू मेमोराइज थिंग्स वील मेक अ सॉन्ग आउट ऑफ लाइक द पीरियडिक टेबल तो एवरी वन हैज देयर वेज ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग थिंग्स तो आई थॉट आई विल शो यू माई वे ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग पाइथिन विच एंड आई कॉल्ड इट पाइथिन फोर ट्वेंटी तो इट्स वॉन्ट बी अ टिपिकल इंट्रो ऑफ पाइथिन आई वॉन्ट टेल यू इन विच ईयर वॉज इट इन्वेंटेड इन विच सिटी वॉज इट इन्वेंटेड बिकॉज ये सब गूगल पर मिल जाएगा I want to talk about how you all can use Python. Like start today. You don't need an academic degree to do Python uh, because Python is very, very, very easy to use. So uh, today I'll show you how you all of you can use Python. We will do this in two steps. First is I will show you how you can befriend this very, very cute snake called Python. And uh, I will uh, first we will do thoda sa maths. uh we will do thoda sa math so what i want you guys to do is pick up a notebook uh a paper anything right now show me that you have a paper so that i know all of you are doing maths and not cheating so do you have a paper mere ko abhi sirf char log dikh rahe hain ha okay to abhi un char ke paas to hai ha very very basic maths so it is right very very basic maths so we will do the maths so that you understand the algorithm behind the code that i will show you in the second half so the maths is this is a data set of 12 numbers i want you all to write down these numbers in your notebook and we will find the median i will show you the steps to find the medium also uh, median also maine bahut hi pyar se mehnat se presentation banayi hai to but i want what i want to do to do is write these numbers in your notebook sabne kar liya Yeah. Nahi, wait. I am very slow with numbers. I copy ulta ulta. Wait. One second. One second. And it will be very helpful if you all can, you know, stay unmute. Because I feel like someone is listening. So only, okay, okay, only, yeah. only Sarah knows the formula in this, or Anshika because she randomly reads math textbooks. I feel like all I of us. Nahi, nahi. I will show you the steps. For they are struggling. Are you smarter than the fifth grader right now? No, I am showing steps also. Um, ki how we will find the median. So, first of all, let me know when all of you have written down the numbers. Oh, yeah. One second. Also, did you do picture and picture? Would it? Like yes, it? yes. But I can only see Prakriti, Anshika, and chat box. Look at that. Oh, lol. Prakriti, how are you cooking in your room, man? She's cooking. I'm going to cook now. I love it. Okay, Muskan done. Done. Anshika done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. पता है एक घंटे में क्या करना है करने के लिए पीछे slow students को पीछे छोड़ना पड़ता है. That's why I was bad at math. Well. Ah, yeah, good. Now arrange the data, arrange the numbers in ascending order, which is lowest to highest. जीवन का लाइफ हार्ड था बैक इन स्कूल मैं क्वेश्चन बहुत स्लोली कॉपी करती है पर सॉल्व कर लेती है तो टीचर्स वुड बी है ओके असेंडिंग ऑर्डर हो गया डन तो दिस इज व्हाट योर असेंडिंग ऑर्डर शुड लुक लाइक 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 14 17 17 45 डिड यू गो बैक टू द प्रीवियस स्लाइड यस और पीछे उससे वे पीछे हां इसमें 10 नहीं है इसमें 10 नहीं है नहीं है इसमें ओके ओके फाइन अरे नो बिकॉज़ आई वाज आई वाज कॉपी ये रिकॉर्डिंग ये रिकॉर्डिंग बाहर नहीं जा रही है मुझे कॉलेज से निकाल देंगे प्लीज ठीक है लेट्स जस्ट प्रिटेंड वो 10 वहां पे है ओके लेट्स जस्ट कॉलेज से कॉलेज से निकाल देंगे कि सब अपने जॉइन किया इट इज अ लाइव स्विच के सबको कॉलेज से निकाल दिया जाए ताकि सभी तरह रो रो करो ये बहुत रोबोटिक आ रहा है ओके तो 
अब मेरा जोक का मोमेंट चला गया तो यू कैन कंटिन्यू मुझे नहीं पता आई मीन आई पिकड अप मेरा लाइक like, मेरे नोट्स जो थे उसमें से तो मैंने ही कोई गलती कर दी होगी आई एम अ बैड टीचर आई एम सॉरी तो दोनों डेटा सेट्स को ध्यान में रखते हुए हम आगे बढ़ते हैं मीडियम इज सो हाउ डू यू फाइंड द मीडियम दिस इज द फॉर्मूला एन इज ट्वेल्व विच मीन्स अ टोटल नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स तो एन बाय टू इथ ऑब्जर्वेशन प्लस एन बाय टू प्लस वन इथ ऑब्जर्वेशन विच इज 12 by 2 is 6. So 6th observation plus 7th observation divided by 2. So your 6th and 7th observation should be 12 and 13. Is that correct? Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So 12 plus 13 by 2 comes out to be 12.5. So that is our median. So why did we find the median? Median means the middlemost term of our a uh, full data set we just found out the middle most term of our data set now what the middle most term is doing it is dividing our data sets into two parts the first part is all the numbers lower than 12.5 and the next part is all the numbers higher than 12.5 make sense hmm. the line in the middle yes. represents 12.5 now what will uh, we will do is we will tag both of these groups the first group is q1 the second group is our median which is q2 and the third group is q3 so we have divided our data set into three quartiles now what do i mean by quartiles quartiles is a uh, work works like a uh, in a very easy language like percentiles you know top 25 top 50 top 75 Uh, students, whenever teachers say that top twenty, top ten, बच्चे कौन हैं? Top twenty five, top fifty. So that is how uh, this quartile division works. Quartile में क्या है? It divides the data set into twenty five, twenty five करके. So this first is our, मतलब Q one is our first quartile. Q two is the middle most line, and Q three is the last quartile. Make sense? Yeah. First group में First group was seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? Yes. So yes. let's take out the median for the first group now. Okay. Okay. Ten. Using the same formula, third term plus fourth term divided by two, which makes it nine plus ten divided by two, which comes out to be nine point five. Why is it third plus plus fourth term? Uh, because uh, यहाँ पे total number of terms is six, ठीक है? तो n is six. Okay. Formula for median is n by two, which means six by two, which means third term. Yes. Plus three plus one fourth term. Okay. Okay. वैसे similarly हमारा जो twelve point five के बाद वाला group है, we will take out the median for that group. Okay. So the median comes out to be fifteen point five. Because third term plus fourth term divided by two, fourteen uh, plus seventeen divided by two is equal to fifteen point five. Cool. Cool. Yes. Okay. So next, our data kind of looks like this. So why did I write nine point five and fifteen point five, and all the numbers are gone? Because now nine point five represents the first group. 12.5 represents the midpoint 15.5 represents the last group okay so there is just one number which means the midpoint representing the whole group it is just like a class monitor representing the whole class got it now we will take out something uh, we will use this formula to find out the interquartile range In which we will subtract Q3 from Q1. So 15.5 minus 9.5, which comes out to be six. Make sense? Yeah. No one second. No 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 one second. Uh huh. Q3 minus Q1. Okay. Hmm. So Q3 is 15.5. Q1 is 9.5. Cool. Cool. Hmm. So, uh, now 
we why are we doing this i will explain this when uh, we see the box plot now we will find something called the lower limit and next something called the higher limit formula for lower limit is q1 which was 9.5 minus 1.5 into the interquartile range you just calculated the interquartile range which should have been 6 theek hai why 1.5 Oh, that's just a formula. I mean, lower limit cuts 1.5, and then if you need to go deeper, so 1.5 की जगह it's just three. That sounds very naughty. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> so I want you all to calculate the lower limit and the higher limit for our data. वो ये IQ आ रहे. हाँ, IQ आ रहे. Which was the interquartile range, which came out to be six. Q1 minus 1.5 IQ. And then higher mm -hmm. limit may make sure that you put plus because it's Q3 plus 1.5. Ah. Upper limit. Then. No no no. Q3 plus 1.5. Q3 was 1.5. Yes. Nine. No, Charmi, I can Four. take you through the steps if if. No, I understand it. I just don't have a very wholesome relationship with that. <laughs> डेटा नाउ इन आर डेटा do you see an outlier outlier means yes. something which is uh, which doesn't fit in the data or if i can explain 45 it, ha, 45 ha so why do we find outliers the point of finding outliers is in our field if we are working on a research project on gender pay gap for example we need Uh, when we are working with a lot of data we need to find the outliers for example there are many many employees in a company uh, working on various different fields but then there is one ceo obviously the ceo's salary will be way way higher than all of those employees so the ceo's salary is the outlier now when we are working with a lot of data in data science you have big csv files like do do gb ki files hote hai you cannot you know go through the file maybe it's a csv file maybe it's a pdf you don't know to usme kya hota hai ki you need to find the outliers and then you need to maybe, you can delete the outliers or you, you can save them in a separate sheet to work on them independently but this was a point to find find the outliers so abhi we have a range 0.5 and 24.5 in our data set if a number is lower than 0.5 which is if it's lower than the lower limit then we will cast it out as a as an outlier similarly if a number is greater than the higher limit we will cast it out as the uh, as an outlier now oh. the data set that i chose was very easy matlab dekh ke bata sakte the that 45 is an outlier but if the uh, data set is more complex where you can not differentiate between the numbers very clearly if one number is 22 the other number is 24 how will we how will we you know classify 24 as an outlier so that's why we use the uh, all of these formulas we use something called the uh, outlier detection okay so after finding all of this out we can make this box plot this middle line represents our q2 which is our medium A median, twelve point five. Yeah, and this box on the right side represents our Q three, the Q three group, and this box represents our Q one. And these 
are called the whiskers that's why this uh, is called the box whis whisker plot and these are the boundaries iske bahar jo bhi hoga will be the outlier which will be denoted with a dotted line if you are doing it on paper so uh, i i mean used a box plot maker online so usme it automatically told me that the outlier is 45 so now i will show you how you can do all of this ek minute ye whisker ka kya exactly relevance hai uh to whisker is the uh matlab lower limit and the higher limit that you just calculated acha so basically like the box shows the total range of the error iske bahar jo bhi ho raha hai wo outlier ho raha hai yes iske bahar jo bhi ho raha hai wo outlier hai so basically the box is the representation of all the median and the quartiles yes. ha huh, the box right? is the representation of your whole data acha and uh yeah the q1 q2 and q3 okay okay and muskan kya uh, i mean kya hua the data set that i chose na the data set that i chose it was a very very easy data set so hmm. you generally don't plot box and whisker plots for very easy data sets because you don't need box and whisker plots for it's not simple data set you need box and whisker plots for complex csv files which are at least like 2 mb 3 mb ka data set okay so uh, isme i checked like on 3 4 different websites sab pe different box plot ban raha tha but because it's a only it's only 12 numbers hmm. you need at least like 4000 5000 numbers so that you can make an accurate box and whisker plot theek okay. hai uh, so uh these questions are generally asked in the sat papers which you know people give sat ka a paper to do yes i think ha huh. and ha huh, essay this is like a statistics ka concept which was taught to us in college for python now this was explained to us in a theory class i will show you the practical apic ha huh, and anshika i just have a question ye jo numbers are side mein wo kya hai jo jo udhar likhe hue the scale it's like a wo graph hota hai na x y axis nahi nahi wo jo numbers likhe hue like labels ke sath first quartile third quartile interquartile range wo kya this is everything that we just calculated okay ye match nahi kar raha mera ha i mean because it's a very very simple box plot na uh, agar if you use a different website if a different calculator to usme kuch kuch mein match karega but it will be approximate okay got theek hai usually this is done by bahut hi uh, i mean everything is done by very very complex softwares but since we are doing it by hand to itna accuracy aayega nahi okay okay got theek hai now i will show this to you on a python notebook so uh, what all of you can do is google collab is completely free to use and it's python so you don't need to know the basics of python to start doing python at all python mein kya hai now i will show all of you uh, did this in your notebook so now i am assuming ki sabko pata hai q1 kya hai q2 median kya hai right ha for their data sets now i will do this in python so abhi python mein when you open a uh, google collab to usme you have separate lines where you can like uh, write the code first thing that you want to do is import two libraries in python the first library is called the numpy and the second is called cborn now libraries are like um, you know python has many many libraries it's like updation software updations on your iphone okay so it's like added features on to the basic features so for this activity we won't be using the basic features we will obviously be using the basic features of python but along with that we need some complex features that's why we are using these two libraries numpy and cborn muskan hame yahi screen dikh raha in case you're showing something else oh yes ha sorry Oh my god now is it okay yes. so we are using these two libraries called numpy so what you will uh, you have to do is write this down in your google collaborative whenever you using google collab 
that I want to import these two libraries, NumPy and Seaborn. And you just need to run that code. So, if you tick ban, means that your uh, your code was successful. And even if you get an error, it's okay. You can you know ask Chat GPT for help. Go to Stack Overflow. So, uh, it's very easy to fix the errors on Python and Google Collab. Is you don't need a complicated software for this. Now, I am importing the data, the same data that we used, the same thing you have written down in your notebooks. Now, data is equal to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is kafi self explanatory, right? This line of code is kafi self explanatory. Next, we will use a feature of the NumPy library. How are we using that feature? Write down the name of the library NP. You see NP here and you see NP here. It is like a pet name for the library that you have to keep calling if you want to use a feature of that particular library. I think this was a perfect explanation because uh, this is one advantage of Python that if you're using some other language, you will need to define sort. Ki sort means ascend, uh, the lowest number comes first uh, and the like the large number come la comes last. Aise define mm -hmm. usko batana padega. This is how you have to sort. Pura steps batana padega. But the advantage of Python is that usme bahut sare features aise hain which have been already which already are defined. So isko Python ko batane ki zarurat nahi ki what does sort mean? It knows what sort means. Uh, this specific library in Python knows what sort means. Uh, yeah, np dot kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Haan, np dot means that kuch bhi has to come under the library mein. features that np knows. Okay. It's got like it, got you it. can, uh, it's like if I know how to speak Hindi and English, you can only ask me questions in Hindi and English. You cannot ask me got Spanish. Mein. What we are doing here is first we are telling the program that our data is this set of 12 numbers. Then we told the program ki n please sort these numbers np dot sort the data. Now what was our data? Mein, whenever I highlight data, so this also gets highlighted, which means that the program knows that the data she's referring to is the data which is stored here. Makes sense? Yeah. Through the highlights? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. then we what does sort data mean? Sort data means the data that NP just sorted. Sorted. And then I wrote sort data, sort only sort data, which tells the program to print it, to show me the output so that I can see if it's okay. done it right. Okay. And then the, my, da my data gets printed in a sorted manner, in an ascending order. Ooh. Cool. Then, and uh, here I have because it's a kind of a data structure. Data structure means uh, a way to store data. It's like a bag. Uh, you know, if you have a tote bag, to usme data, how will a data get stored in a tote bag? Usme pura gum ho but if you have a laptop bag, to, uh, you have separate compartments for everything. So data structure is a way to store a data. So array is a way to store data in which the data is separated by commas and it resides in the square bracket. So it has it. put the data in a bag and the bag is square brackets. Got it. Now, I told the program, ki Q1, what does Q1 mean? Q1? I don't understand. Sort data is equal to np dot sort data. What is the sort data? So if you just write down sort sort data, so I have defined sort data. Mene, I have defined uh, haan, prakriti. No, no, go for it. Haan. So I have defined sort data. Ki sort data means np dot sort. Uh, I am um, kind First of commanding, it here. commanding the program to sort this variable. Okay, variable makes sense. Yeah. Ki, yeah. yeah x yeah. is equal to 10 means x has a value of 10. So my okay. data has a value of these 12 numbers. Huh, huh. So what does sort data mean? 
sort data means whatever data the NP library has sorted. And so now sort sort underscore data has stored the value of those ascending order wala data. Understood. Got it. And uh, writing only sort data means you want the program to print it. Okay, first you're defining it and then you're asking, you to, asking it to do it. Yeah, In first I'm defining it and then I'm asking it to print whatever you have done. Got it. Okay. If I remove this sort data wala part, then I output not get output, but it has sorted the data and it, and it has stored it in its memory. Got it. But I don't get the output. Understood. Okay. Understood. Cool. So now, Print in coding is just show on screen. Yeah, show on screen. Yeah, that I've heard, yeah. <laughs> now, I have defined some variables. Q1, Q2, Q3 and IQR. The same thing that we just did on our paper. So, for... Uh, I am telling my program that Q1 means np.quantile. Now, np.quantile means np the library already has a already knows what quantile means it has a set of instructions uh, stored inside it and it knows what quantile means so isko pata hai ki quantile jaise mere ko bol de uh, quantile to what i need to do there are like a, a set of instructions so now what it is doing, it is calculating Q1, Q2, Q3 and the formula that we used is already stored there. We just need to uh, call the formula. We don't need to write down the formula every time. For calculating quantile. Ha, for qu for uh, calculating quantile. Q1, Q2 and Q3. Yes. Okay. Now, why did I write data 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 here, whenever you are using brackets in Python, uh, it means key the program might need something to work upon. For example, um, if I ask you to make a tank, I will have to give you tank a powder. Right? Huh. You yeah. need something to make tank. So, we here to calculate quantile, first thing it needs is the data. And the next thing it needs keep the first percentile means 25 uh, first 25 calculate karna hai means, uh, so it's like um you know how percentiles work uh yeah first 25 percent first 50 percent first ha, 75 ha. percent so either first 25 means that please represent the data ki uh, first 25 percent mein kaun kaun sa numbers aa rahe hain jo humne q1 nikala tha ye wahi hai na yes jo humne q1 nikala tha and then Got 50 it. means what is the middle most of the data oh, which is the median so it means ye data ka first 25 percent ka 0.25 nikalo ha got it 0.25 means first 25 percent ka middle part Nein. Nein. 25 is first 25, 50 is the middle, 75 is the last no. one apart. So, we have done this, 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 we have Haan, okay. Yeah. And then all I'm asking it, uh, I'm all I'm asking is print Q1, Q2, Q3, and IQR. But uh, I uh, straight away didn't write Q1, Q2, Q3 uh, because I needed more things to be printed along with whatever it had calculated. So, for example, uh, it had calculated uh, 9.75, but I needed it to print Q1 semi, uh, like colon 9.75, so that my data is better represented. Question. Hmm. Yeah, question. Hey, bro. Achha, bro. No. We had to print it before, so why didn't we say it? And now we have to print it, so why didn't we say it? Yes, because it just needs to print sort data. मतलब 
लुक प्रिंट सॉर्ट डेटा भी मैं करती हूँ तो इट डजेंट मैटर क्योंकि उसको सिर्फ सॉर्ट डेटा ही तो प्रिंट करना है अच्छा अगर हमें लेबल चाहिए तो हमें हमें स्पेशल इंस्ट्रक्शन लाइक देर इज समिंग इन पैकिन कॉल्ड स्लाइसिंग इफ यू हैव स्पेशल इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर इट तो वी नीड टू राइट प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट अदरवाइज यू कैन जस्ट राइट सॉर्ट डेटा इन नाउ नेक्स्ट ऑल वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग इज द लोअर लिमिट एंड द अपर लिमिट वन पॉइंट फाइव इन टू आई क्यू आर दिस इज जस्ट लाइक राइटिंग इट ऑन पेपर That lower limit is equal to Q1 minus mm-hmm. 1.5 into IQR. Yeah, but we haven't used any special function, and then we are telling, uh, asking it to print. Muskan, can you go a little lower? Where we have IQR calculated for this data. Okay, got it. We have taught it. Got it. Okay. Hmm. Now it has printed lower limit and upper limit. Now this is a little bit complicated, but it is very, uh, you know. Uh, easy interesting to understand so uh, now we are telling the program that outlier we are defining outlier as an empty array which means it is an empty bag ki mm-hmm. initially you have an empty bag and then we will tell the program to slowly start filling in the bag how mm-hmm. are we doing it we are doing it using a loop called the for loop now python has many uh, you know python has different kinds of loops for example the while loop and the for loop so what does this statement mean this statement means for x in data which means ki x can be anything in the data okay if now this is uh, if statement means ki condition it is like we are putting a condition under the loop you are telling the program that if x which means if uh, so x will start with uh, what was the first number in our data uh, 7 7 ha so x will start with 7 so the first value that x will take up is 7 so for 7 in data which means 7 belongs to the data if 7 is higher than the upper limit or mm. if Seven is lower than the lower limit. Mm-hmm. Then append x, which means put x in your bag, put seven in your bag. If it doesn't fit the range, if it's higher than twenty-five, or if it's lower than twenty-five, got it. Then put it in your bag. Got it. ये कौन सा loop है? For loop. और ये कहाँ से start हुआ? For x in data से. हाँ, for x in data. which means that uh, you only need to check the numbers which are in the data got it aur dusra wala kaun sa bola tha while okay mai baat kar chu theek hai okay so abhi it will start it will check all of the numbers in the data okay it will uh, it will check all of the numbers in the data and then it will start filling in the bag If a num uh, seven wasn't an outlier, तो उसने bag में नहीं डाला. The only number that was an outlier was forty five. So as soon as it reaches forty five, it will satisfy this particular condition. If it satisfies the uh, satisfies the particular condition, then only it will cast it out. Makes sense. Got it. Got it. Now, अगर upper limit से बड़ा है और lower limit से छोटा है. हाँ. तो उसको अपेंड अपेंड मींस पुट इट समवेयर लाइक इनसाइड ओके तो नाउ प्रिंट द आउटलायर अभी मैंने सिर्फ आउटलायर लिखा है यहाँ पे एंड अलोंग विद दैट आई वांटेड टू प्रिंट अ स्टेटमेंट आउटलायर इन द डेटा सेट इज तो व्हेन एवर यू वांटेड टू प्रिंट अ स्टेटमेंट यू राइट इट इन कोलिन और सेमी कोलिन So I wanted to print outlier in the data set is and then print outlier, okay, which was the bag. Ah, yeah, got it. Whatever was in the bag. Now it will print. It will print outlier in the data set is forty five. Ha, huh. sorry, not colons. Now what we are doing it, are uh, doing is, uh, making a box plot out out of this. 
you don't need a complicated calculator you just need python a google collaboratory and uh, this is a feature in the sns which is our uh, library is called cbon yahan pe you will see sns which is a nickname uh, for the library now that particular library has a feature to print a box plot so it what it all it needs to print a box plot is the data it's like to make tank all it needs is the powder so to make the box plot all it needs is the data so we are telling it uh, we are giving it the data and we are asking it to print the box plot so it has printed the box plot make sense yeah so this was our code which all of you can try in the google collaboratory uh, it's very very easy to use you just need to type the code in sep in these separate separate uh, boxes and then run it okay ha huh. now moving on to the presentation we did all of this because this helps in cleaning the data we can see your presentation we need uh, data cleaning is a very very crucial step uh, in eda eda is exploratory data analysis for example if you find uh, you know reports uh, oxfam and orf all of them are working on reports right uh, they have huge amount of data they um, they have huge amount of data which they are uh, for maybe they are working to find the gender pay gap in a country you have huge excel sheets you have a large amount of data for that you cannot uh, calculate everything by hand so uske liye python will be very very uh, useful because it will help you in exploratory data analysis finding gender pay gap or uh, for example i had another for example if you want to find the relation between the rain and carbon emissions in a city uh, if you are working if you are doing research uh, if you are doing research in uh, us pe climate change pe okay and you need uh, to make graphs and you need statistics for that so python works best so usme you can find temperature trends you can find carbon emission relation between carbon emissions and rain you don't need to do the mathematics all you need is python and you do, don't need the basics of python for that because we have youtube we have google we have chat gpt so usse all you need to do it all you need is a google collaboratory a simple data set or a complex uh, python can work on anything and a problem statement so for example if you are interested in climate change and you want to find out uh, what is the relation between the rain, uh, rain and carbon emissions so that maybe you can advise government if you have a research paper in hand if you have the statistics and you if you have the answers to some problems you can i mean it's always better to have research it's always better to have stats in your hand right so yeah. that's where python can help us python can help us in research project projects in making graphs uh, just like we made a box plot today this box plot was to clean the data so that we can find the outliers for example the ceo salary is an outlier got it got it so that was all that i had to explain today